Hello, my name is Elliot, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Netflix movie, Single All The Way. Before we get into that, much more importantly, what do you guys think of this turtleneck? I got this for Christmas, and I want to know if I can pull it off. <laughs> Before we even get into it, this movie should change its title from Single All The Way just to at Elliot Alexander, because this is like the most relatable movie I've ever seen in my entire life. I'm going to get into it more in a little bit, but... I have never felt more represented than I did by Nick, the black, like, best friend character, uh, in this movie, just because, like, so many things that happened in the movie, I'm like, wait, I, like, low-key, high-key did this in real life, too. First of which, if you watch my most recent video, plug, I fall in love with my friend while I'm visiting his family in New Hampshire. Like, literally the same exact thing just happened to me. <laughs> like, absolutely insane. Also, this movie came on my birthday, which I feel like is just more adds to, like, the, like, adding me, like, on fucking, like, what? Um, but yeah. <laughs> Spoilers ahead, so if you haven't seen the movie, watch it and then come back and watch this. So a little like plot overview is these two best friends, Peter and Nick, um, go to New Hampshire to visit Peter's family during Christmas. And then Peter goes on dates with like this one guy named James, but then also Nick realizes he has a crush on Peter. And then Peter may or may not have a crush on Nick. And the movie ensues. Also Jennifer Coolidge is in it. And the wife from Schitt's Creek. Not, uh... Catherine O'Hara, the wife of, like, the weird guy. I never even finished Shits Creek because just, like, oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> well, I didn't hear, yeah, this is actually related. I didn't finish Shits Creek because seeing, like, two white gay men fall in love doesn't even feel like representation to me. So I know I would not have, like, single all the way as much if at least one of the families wasn't of color. Not specifically black, it could have been any color. Also, all of the actors that played gay slash queer characters are all actually queer in real life. Michael Yuri identifies as queer, I think, in real life. The Lemon Chambers identifies as gay, and so does Luke McFarland, who played James. And the whole debate right now over gay actors playing gay roles, obviously, Single Away did well because all of the actors were openly queer. Um, and all the characters, like, in the movie, like, seemed <laughs> queer as well, which is great. Overall, I really, really liked the movie. It's not, like, some, like, groundbreaking, like, gonna change the way you, like, think about, like, film or gay people or whatever. It's just a very, like, corny, cheesy, like, Hallmark Christmas movie. And you get exactly what you signed up for, essentially. What I liked about it is that the love story seemed, like gay. There were, like, gay aspects of it. I like that Max Emerson and Kyle Krieger, two of the biggest gay Instagram models, were in it. They went to, like, a gay Christmas party. I've never been to one of those, so I don't know how, like, accurate that was to it. But even just, like, little things, uh, were strewn about. Little, like, <laughs> gay, like, <laughs> I want to say candy canes, but that's, like, wrong. Easter eggs? No. Little gay, like, nuggets. <laughs> Or, like, just strewn about in the movie. For example, them making the joke of, like, joining a gym the second day you get to a new city, uh, stalking each other's Instagrams, even though I know it's a straight thing, too. Oh, also, the, uh, James's Instagram is at sky's the limit. I looked it up. That's not a real one. I think it's, like, some, like, 12-year-old girl. Them breaking up because the boyfriend had a wife and had, like, been lying to him for, like, X amount of time. All those little things. It just didn't feel like straight people were writing it. It felt like they were actually gay people in the writer's room, which makes sense because the director is openly gay. I want to talk about how this movie was so relatable to me because, like, every single thing that happens in it, I'm like, holy shit, what the fuck? First of all, he goes with his, like, friend to New Hampshire to visit his family for the holidays. My most recent video is going with my friend to New Hampshire for Thanksgiving. Like, literally what? He falls in love with his friend while, while he's there. I don't fall in love with my friend, but I fall in love with my, with my cousin. Uh, nope. No. I fall in love with my friend's cousin while I'm there. In one scene, uh, <laughs> Nick is forced to sleep in the same bed as Peter. And Nick openly has a crush on Peter, but you don't know if Peter likes Nick. But then, like, he's, like, <laughs> tortured by having to sleep in the same bed as, like, his crush. And you can see him even, like, want to, like, maybe do, you know? I had to do that. Like, I've been through that. Like, in college, I had a crush on this guy. And then we ended up being forced to, like, sleep in the same bed because of, like, some fuck shit. And then the entire time, I was like, I, like, want to, like, kiss him or, like, do anything with him. And I couldn't. But, like, literally, my crush was, like, six inches away from me. And then, like, so far apart at the same time. And I was just like, ugh. So watching that, like, scene, I was like, this is, like, too triggering. Oh, my God. Literally, like, being, like, the black best friend, helping your white queer friend, like, date fucking other white queer people when you're the one who's, like, trying to date him in the first place, but you can't say that because you don't want to ruin the friendship. That's literally happened to me before. I was just like, ugh. Literally. And then my best friend, Sahar, who went to college with me, so knows about the guy, um, when the two of them kiss at the end, she literally went up to me. She was like, oh, I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> that story is the same story as my story, except they get together in the end of the movie, and then I didn't date, the, like, the guy. Like, I'm still friends with him, but, like... <laughs> 
<laughs> I think that was really triggering was, um, it was funny because James says, What if you and Nick have an undeniable connection that everybody can see but you? Yeah, but don't you have one of those friends that everyone assumes is your boyfriend? Hmm. No. And I was like, I have that. <laughs> <laughs> the same crush I'm talking about in college. Multiple people came up to like me and my, like one person came up to my friend and literally was like, oh, how long had Elliot and his boyfriend been together when I had like never said we were dating or anything, even though I like openly had a crush on him. Um, that was just like, ugh. And then also I saw like some critics being like, I don't understand why like this family would get so involved in like X person's love life. It felt a little unrealistic. Yes, it's like, it was a little unrealistic how much is like 15 year old girls were like getting into these like gay man's love life. And then at the same time, like it super isn't because that's just like all of YouTube, like when like fucking like Jackson and Dylan, like Jylan were together, like everyone who was obsessed with it were like 15 year old white girls. Teenagers really like getting involved in other people's loves lives and then especially if it's gay men's love lives. Also the fact that they like all want him to move back and they already all like like the boyfriend so they would want them to like move back to uh, together and stuff. It wasn't that unrealistic to me, all of them like being into it. There is a scene where they're like talking outside and like everyone's looking outside the window. That one was a little like eh, but like besides that, None of it felt that crazy. Also, literally, like, what else is there to do in New Hampshire besides get involved with, like, your gay relative's love life? The way they did it felt a little corny and cheesy, but it's, like, a freaking it's a corny, cheesy movie. So, like, that kind of, whatever. Also, yeah, the dad got involved, too. In that situation, my dad wouldn't, like, push as much as, like, that dad is. Um, and the dad isn't even pushing that much, but I could see my dad doing similar things that, like, that dad did, and that wouldn't be, like, off-brand for, like, many dads to be, like, I see you guys work, like, really well together, like, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, I liked that. That was really relatable. I also liked how the movie, it didn't have any, like, trauma related to, like, coming out or anything. It was, like, the entire family was very accepting of their, uh, relationship, and their sexuality wasn't even, like a big issue or wasn't an issue at all in so many movies tv shows with gay like love stories usually one person is like coming out or like coming into their identity or there's like trauma because like one family doesn't accept them or like blah, blah blah but there was like no trick traumatic shit on uh peter's side and on nick's side i guess i didn't really mention it but the mom is dead but they never mentioned like oh she's a like, homophobic or anything so yeah for the things that i didn't like Jennifer Coolidge in the movie was like fine. I just didn't really care about her whole plot line with the nativity thing. I feel like they just threw her in there just to like attract more like millennial gay men to watch it. She was like fine. I was like, okay, I've seen this movie three times actually. The second time when I watched it just to take notes, I just kind of skipped through all of her parts because I was like, I really just like don't care. The, the two actors didn't sell. Like I understood their whole story and stuff, but in real life, they don't seem like they would be best friends. I didn't see how much they had in common, even though they like kind of explained it. I know I didn't. I, know, I was gonna say this is a dislike, but it's not. It's a like. Like how just corny and cheesy it was. I just that was what was good about it. Like, literally, like what you signed up for. I've never seen a Hallmark movie, but I'm sure that's like how all of them are. I will say the best part though of the entire movie is when the sister is like at the bar. She throws the like order of food onto like James's shirt and just like starts talking shit about Peter. And now we have climate change because of Peter. Honestly, just. Don't. I would do the same exact shit if my friend was dating someone that um, I don't like. Not like actually, but like low-key. Like. Yeah, and then they get together at the end, which is cute. I don't know what like this black man is gonna do in New Hampshire for the rest of his life because I was in New Hampshire for two days and I was like, I gotta get out because I did not see one POC, even like half POC, the entire two days I was in New Hampshire. Um, but maybe it'll work great for Nick and I'm so happy for him. He doesn't really have any family anymore so he can just uh, move and have a little like happy gay life in um, New Hampshire. And he's like already a part of that other family. So as long as they're not like microaggressive, which like let's hope they're not, um, I'm sure Nick will be fine, happy and Danny since that's something that he wants. Overall it'd be like three stars out of five stars, but then it's honestly five out of five stars because it's like giving exactly what I expected. It's just literally a, like a gay Hallmark Christmas movie, which is like, if that's what you know coming into it, it's like, it's a great movie. And it doesn't just feel like it's written by straight people. It feels like a, like a gay love story, uh, with gay actors, written by gay people. So, overall, great movie. I highly, 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 highly recommend it to, like, literally anyone. Please, like, support the gays so we can get more movies like this so y'all all gotta watch it. Everyone, please comment down below your thoughts because I'd love to hear what people have to say about both my turtleneck and the, <laughs> and the movie. Um, and, yeah, with that, I'll see y'all next time. Bye.